from uh, the wind from right to left? Yeah, I'm gonna give it six. Okay. Ready for you on three. What you're about to see turned into an awesome day of hunting. We had three continuums rocking out. Steve didn't even bring a gun, which was the beginning of the problem. But the real problem started with work, which we just couldn't get away from. Well, classically, we try and take an afternoon to go get some stuff done for shooting, but my freezer has decided that we have to do this first. Since it's down, we can't get a repairman here until this afternoon. What do you think, Steve? Aren't we fun to hang out with? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we were able to get through our work without too much issue and get back to the farms. So we came to Old Faithful. It's local, and it's also got some pigeons that are always there. We can't seem to quite kill them all. Some starlings that pass through often, and no matter what, we know we're going to see some English sparrows. We got our gear together as quickly as we could, and it didn't take long until we started seeing those telltale shadows flying right by us. All oh, damn, they came for us. All oh, damn. Nailed them. Oh man, did it crank them. That is 65 yards, held two MOA and wind coming from the left. Nice. Yeah, so it's 59. Nailed them. Smack them straight down. Sweet. Hard to come by birds today, so we're running all around the farm trying to get at them. And uh, it's paying off, but you gotta call the wind right. And it's really switchy today, so really happy with that. Hurry up, you got a lot of body on this one. I smoked him! <laughs> yes, I did! Woo, baby! 84 yards offhand. Boom! That's my favorite shot of the day. It's your only shot of the day. <laughs> no, I smacked three starlings. All right, all right. Well, set up again because they're circling. Oh, oh! Yes! Did you hear it hit him? Whack! That was awesome. Buddy. <laughs> Standing on a hay bale. And I held like, I don't even remember now, it was five, six. So um, our problem is down here. Yeah, all you get is roof line. Yeah. Oh, I hope the slow-mo shows up, but you know, and the, the wind's like blowing the rifle and I'm trying to fight that. 84, stand on a hay bale. I don't know, man. That's maybe my favorite all-time shot. Woo! My fingers are freezing. And uh, if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, you might not have seen this yet. Uh, Steve from Airgun Evolution, and Earlis from Orion the Iguana Hunter, and my good buddy Norm from Archem will have designed these speed loaders. They are awesome. And especially when your fingers are a little 
too cold to actually handle individual pellets, you can just pop this top off the speed loader and there's a pellet waiting for you right there so that you can pin the mag. And, um, oh man, my hands are so cold. So we're gonna spin this to pin it just like you would any other loading cycle. And then the, pin, the speed loader has a pin right here and you can literally just put it on there, give it one turnover and you got a fully loaded mag again, which on a day like today, that's key. So, thanks for designing that guys. <laughs> <sighs> oh. There's a deer right there. She's looking back at something else. She's looking right at us. She looks delicious. There she goes. She's like, you know what that guy said, delicious? Yeah. I think I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give it some wind from the right. You good? Oh, I needed like the smallest amount more wind. Just take your time and don't think about the fact you're uh, kneeling in uh, oh science sewage. Alright, you ready? Yep, I'm filming you. Oh, 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 you went down. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay back here and film okay. you from this angle yeah, I guess so they don't spook. Anyway. They're all gone. <laughs> oh man. How did they feel that? How did they feel that? They were right there. They just know what's bad for it's them. It's 87 and, yards, and I mean. And you're real bad for them. Give me a chance. Oh yeah. Right, how far? Yeah, good image. How far was it? Like 73 yards. What are you shooting at? Starling. Um. Uh, and. Uh, Alright. I'm shoot at one all by itself so that hopefully if I miss, I got another chance. You good? Oh yeah. Nailed I him. heard that. That cranked him, dude. Cranked him! I tell you, like, I know that these aren't supposed to be long range guns, but they're so good that like, you saw that shot I just took. I mean, I have it like wedged in here. My barrel's barely clearing that. No, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna speak, uh, 85% of air gunners are, aren't going to be taking yeah, it's anything true. I mean, that, like, that will handle 85% of all your air gunning needs. Yeah, for sure. And I'm I not trying say. to sound like a commercial. I'm just, yeah. I, I just love this setup. Like, cause I have the original crown with the 600 millimeter barrel and it, it's a great gun and it shoots slugs awesome, but for barn work and anything inside of a hundred, this is what I'm grabbing because that's, that short barrel is so handy. So. What's your setup you're running right here? So this is shooting JSB 25 grain domes. So light pellets that get blown around pretty easily um, at 870 feet per second. So that's why even like that 70 yard shot you just saw me take was, you know, hold off two MOA of wind 
which was a guess because we're in the barn and I just happen to know that the wind is cutting across the farm. So say I'm you right now, where was that bird? That bird was all the way at the top of the silo the, on the left the edge. Tall one? The, tall the tallest one, but he was on the left edge of oh, the you... silo itself, not the rail. Okay, well, let's go out because you can't even see the silo in here. Yeah. But... Yeah, so he was sitting right there on that, the left. That scope helps out a little too, huh? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Just came around to see if they actually fell off. This one did. They are such a nuisance, but man, man, are they beautiful animals. I mean, look at that center shot right there. Can't really see, but I mean, they are absolutely gorgeous. Those iridescent feathers in the light. If they weren't an invasive species, it'd be hard to shoot them. Gorgeous. Listen, it's cold and cats are hungry and I've always wanted to do this ever since I saw 10 feet I was going to say, every single air gunner's always wanted to do it since they saw 10 feet of bird to a cat. Yeah, I'm not going to get close, but... Yeah, they're hey. pretty wary. Ah, oh, oh. epic fail. <laughs> Come back here. Don't you want your bird? <laughs> are you too good for your bird? Are you too good for your bird? I don't think that's how Ted does it. Uh, he might have a gentler approach, but <laughs> they're each equally effective. <laughs> Clearly. We took a break to fly the drone a little bit and just relax, warm up. And this flock of pigeons really hated the drone. And there was only a couple of pigeons, but man, they were really trying to dive bomb it and knock it down. So I eventually descend. But there is much more footage, so we're going to save the rest of it for next week. So tune in and you'll see a whole lot more of Norm shooting and a little less of me. Done, done.